boys and girls, it's Mrs. Morrison here to read you another story. I hope that you guys are having a good week and let's continue on the letter U. Now the letter U is a vowel. Do you remember what a vowel is? Let's sing our vowel song to remind us what letters are vowels. There are five letters that I know and vowels are their name. Oh, A, E, I, O, U, A, E, I, O, U. A E I O U and vowels are their name O. So if it is a vowel, then it says the sound and it says its name. So let's listen to our word unicorn. Our word today is unicorn. Does unicorn say the sound a uh, or the sound u? Let's say it one more time. Unicorn. I bet you guys know. It's you, unicorn. I knew you knew. Good job. Now, in our story today, our story is about a unicorn. Now, unicorn is a special word. It starts with una, and una means one. So unicorn means one corn or one horn. A unicorn has one horn. What's another word that starts with una? How about unicycle? Unicycle means one wheel. One wheel cycle. A unicycle is a bicycle with one wheel or a cycle with one wheel. That's right, a unicycle. But today's story is about a unicorn and let's read our story today. Today's book is called Uni the Unicorn and our story is written by Amy Rosenthal and it's a story about believing. Uni the Unicorn. Uni the Unicorn. Remember, this is the title page, so it's going to say our title again. And if you look closely, there's a word that you guys know. Do you see that word right there? One of our sight words, the. Good job. I knew you could remember it. Uni the Unicorn. That's really pretty pictures in this book. I like this book. In almost every way, Uni the Unicorn was like other unicorns. Magnificent mane, those unis was extra magnificent. Golden hooves, though unis were extra golden. And sparkling purple eyes, though unis were extra sparkling. Like other unicorns, uni had a special swirly horn with the power to heal and to mend. And like other unicorns, uni can make wishes come true. Look at her blowing the dandelion, making a wish come true. But there was one thing that was that definitely set apart Uni. What set Uni apart? That means she was different, made her a little different. What made Uni a little different? Uni believed that little girls were real. Look at her looking at the princess in the book saying, hmm, I know little girls are real. But Uni was certain, absolutely certain, that little girls were real, no matter what everyone else said. Uni knew that somewhere far away, but not that far away, there was a little girl waiting, a strong, smart, wonderful, magical little girl, and she would be the best friend a unicorn could ever ask for. Uni imagined all the things that they would do together. They would run fast through the meadow. <clears throat> they would spin and twirl in the sunlight. They would explore and help forest creatures in need. <clears throat> Other times they would just sit quietly and talk about important things. Look at her braiding her hair. And of course, of course, of course, they would slide down rainbows together. Oh, I would want to slide down ra a rainbow. What color would you slide down on? Mm, I would slide down on purple. What color would you slide down on? Orange, green, blue, maybe yellow? Until Uni <clears throat> fell asleep that night and had an enchanted dream. Oh, look at her dream. What Uni did not know, but would discover soon enough, 
was that somewhere far away, but not that far away, there was a little girl. There was indeed a real little girl. There she is. And even though her friend said, ha, 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 unicorns are just make-believe, and despise her parents' knowing smiles, this little girl was certain, absolutely certain, that there was a unicorn, a strong, smart, wonderful, magical unicorn. Look at her looking out there thinking, I know there's a unicorn out there somewhere. Just waiting to be her friend. And look at there, it looks like they became good friends. I like that story. It is a pretend story because we know that unicorns are part of our imagination. They're just fun. But you know what? Sometimes it's fun to use our imaginations. I hope you enjoyed this book today. I hope that you're having a good day today. And bless you guys. And I miss you. And I love you. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.